Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are here inside of how to make a clicker simulator um, type game tutorial series over here guys. I think it's part 9 over here and into this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a, um, a auto clicker including a game pass as well guys, which you can buy and then use to actually um, go on the auto clicker, which is pretty cool guys. So this is going to be an awesome video that you're not going to want to miss out on. Before I start anything off over here, um, I first need to go in and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com, which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes, music codes, and guides. There is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall, we cover codes for over 1,000 Roblox games, so if you guys need a code for a game, it will be there. Anyway guys, I guess, let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So guys, how exactly are we going to go ahead and make this? Well, first of all, we want to actually make it auto-click a button because there is no way that the player can turn on and off the auto clicker if it's if it's um, simply not there. So what we're going to go ahead and do over here, guys, I think we're just going to add inside here a text button. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this auto clicker over here right now, guys. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just resize this right now, guys. Let me quickly, quickly do this over here. Honestly, I'm not going to make this look like very very nice because of course this is just a tutorial over here it's not supposed to be a work of art right now guys it's just it's supposed to be quick and practical and you guys can of course change stuff around in your own game anyway guys right okay what we're gonna quickly do here though is actually just convert the both of them to skill and skill for both position and size guys you can do this manually though by switching that on the position and x-axis and all that sort of stuff over here guys what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just write auto clicker and here right now guys i'm gonna do text skilled um and then guys i'm gonna make it a red color over here because we are gonna go in and have this on red when it's off and green when it's on so let me quickly do bold over here right now guys there we go um and that probably that, that, that's good enough i guess guys so yeah we have our auto clicker over here then inside this we're gonna add a script right now guys keep in mind if you've not yet like made a auto clicker game pass i recommend to do that guys it may help you out but um, if you guys want to make a free version of the auto clicker, I'll be showing you guys how to do that right now during this during this um, tutorial over here, guys. If you are having any issues with this or anything else on the channel or in general in Roblox Studio, I can help you guys out if you join me on Patreon. I can provide you with one-on-one -on -one help there, and you can also download this, download this exact Roblox Studio file. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do local button is equal to script.parent. Here we go. Then, guys, we're going to do local market place service is equal to game get service sorry not get attribute get service and then marketplace service then guys we're gonna do local players is equal to game get service players next we are gonna do local player is equal to players dot local player after that guys we are gonna um get the click event from the replicated storage we're gonna do local replicated storage is equal to game get service so not get after you after you get get service and i'm gonna do replicated storage after that guys we're gonna do local remote events is equal to replicated storage wait for child remote events there we go guys one second let me put them back um after that we are gonna do local um click sorry let me quickly find the name of this because it has been a little while yeah so local click event is equal to replicated storage sorry not, not replicated storage remote events um wait for child and then click there we go guys right okay i've accidentally clicked on that insert so that's why it's a dodgy thing anyway guys so we've got that run and working right now then we are going to do this we're going to do button dot mouse button one up connect function and then guys inside this what we are going to go ahead and do is pretty much this so what i recommend doing guys is adding an interval maybe about 0 0.2 seconds guys and that's just going to be how many times it runs in a second so divide one by the amount that you're going to wait by and that's going to tell you how many times it's going to run through every second how many times it's going to automatically automatically click i'm just going to go in and do this at 0 0.2 um so we're going to do while um wait um 0 0.2 do so i'm not i don't know why that's there okay there we go do after that we are going to do um click event we're gonna fire the server and put the player in here guys so now this should be working when we click this guys it's not going to change color yet but the basic thing of this is going to be working so if we click this guys um as you can see we are now getting the clicks automatically over here if you guys want to slow down the rate of the auto clicker um you guys are going to want to go ahead and increase 
the wait time so you can maybe do 0 0.3 0 0.5 as well guys so this is for the free version however guys if you want to make this a game pass thing what you guys are going to want to do is create a game pass i think you'll all know how to do that and then you're going to want to go ahead and get like the id code of that game pass over here guys um and just make sure that you do have it so i'm just going to go and get a game pass which i made for a previous game over here i'm just going to get the id for that and i'm going to use that during this so instead of having this so this is the free version if you guys want to make it for a game pass you do if marketplace service user owns game pass sync you're going to put the player in there then you're going to put the id code of that game pass over here guys so that's my one i'm going to show you guys where to find that uh, and then you're going to do then and then enter and then it's going to put this in here so what you guys are going to want to do um let me just quickly bring this up on the screen so pretty much i'll go to like a game which i've already made i'll click on add pass and then whatever you'd add the game pass once you have the game pass up you'll just see in the link at the top over here guys just copy that them them numbers over here guys and put them into where i put mine and that's how you guys do that which is quite simple anyway guys let's go and get back on into it now so um moving on from there um well now we should um th this should still work guys because we own this game pass if we weren't to own it it would not work never mind unable to cast instance to it um hmm. if marketplace service user owns game pass sync player um right I don't know why this is not currently working right now, guys. Let me try this maybe on a different game pass. Maybe I don't know why that sh why that didn't work, guys. Let me quickly try this with a different game pass. And if not, guys, I'll meet you all back when it when it actually. I think I'm gonna know why. Maybe game settings, and then let me quickly see this, guys. Um, where is it? Security. Um, right. I'm just gonna enable these because yeah, I think right we're gonna try this guys because maybe one of these aren't letting that work in studio i don't know we'll try that guys but um i'm also gonna put in another game pass which i own so let me just do this over here guys and let's see if this works this time is that gonna work no unable to cast instance to in right let me quickly figure this out sorry guys i know i've went wrong over here pretty stupid mistake by me honestly guys i have took like a two week break from scripting altogether because i have been on holiday unfortunately so i couldn't keep up with this guys but pretty much yeah we're gonna do player.user id i don't know how i forgot that out guys um whenever you're using this you don't want to use a user id instead um but yeah guys okay now this is gonna work i didn't need to turn on them other permissions guys it would just be mean uh that was just me being stupid but as you can see over here guys now that's working if i were to maybe change this number so it's not a game pass which i own let me just add a one at the end it's not gonna work when i press this guys so yeah that's quite um so, so, so now as you can see over here it's acting like i don't own the game pass so i can't use the auto clicker so guys how exactly do you make it so that the auto clicker turns off and on well we are going to go ahead and do this we're going to do local um running is equal to false then we are going to do here um we're going to do if running um is equal equal to false then we are going to go ahead and put this in here and also guys we probably want to update the thing um so that it turns green so what we are going to do is this we're going to do button dot background color free um is equal to color free dot new and then we are just going to click on this little button over here guys there we go and then i'm just going to select the nice green over here so now this should turn green when we actually do run this over here guys um so let me click on this and now as you can see it's turned green and my auto click is on however guys i can't turn it off because i've not yet made it so that it turns off so what i'm going to go ahead and do is pretty much this so i'm going to do um then running is equal to true then guys i'm gonna do um else if running um is equal equal to true then we want to set this back to red so i'm gonna show you guys this working right now so this is now click on that we're gonna set it up back to red so now when i press this it is gonna go back to its original red color over here guys um so let me try this out guys here we go so it's went green and now i clicked it it's went red however guys it is still going on so how exactly do we fix this well guys i am kind of freestyling this so i'm thinking we might just do a break let's try this out guys it could work um if not let me quickly figure this out and i'll meet us back in a second um yeah okay yeah never mind i'm being stupid, stupid over here this is what happens when i take breaks off let me quickly figure out what i'm doing wrong over here guys honestly i can't concentrate today 
And then my guys, I am being stupid over here. What we are going to go ahead and do, let's quickly stop that. Here we go. So what I'm going to go ahead and do over here is do this. So while weight 0, 0 0.2 and running is equal to false, we are going to go ahead and do that. So, sorry, guys. And running is equal to true. Then we're going to do that. And then we're going to set running um, is equal to false here. And then we're going to remove that break thing because I was just being stupid there, guys. And okay, so now this is going to work because every time, every 0 0.2 seconds, it's going to check if running is still equal to true. If it is, guys, then it's going to run this. But if it's not, and that means that the play players click this again and they've set this back to false, it's not going to work because although it's waiting 0 0.2 seconds, this is false. So it cannot do this because it's an and statement, guys. So let's try this out, guys. This should be fully working over here um, with the Game Pass element 2, guys. So let's click on this. It's turning green right now guys we have our auto clicker we turn it off again guys and as you can see it's turned off it's went red and that guys is how you make an auto clicker inside of your game over here guys i've got a few more episodes left of this series guys um but yeah th th that's gonna be it for the this video today i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out